Today, I want to talk about stress dosing, um, what it is, why people with Addison's disease do it, and some of the ramifications of taking too much stress dose, too little, or not stress dosing at all. So everyone with Addison's disease, hopefully, is um, on hydrocortisone steroid replacement for life. So everyone has a base level of milligrams that they take every day, and it varies per person. Um, there's no real set standard. Doctors sort of start people out on 20 milligrams and then do a little more, a little less, depending on the person and their individual circumstances and other ailments. Um, so the base level of steroids that each person takes per day and at different times a day is gonna be completely different. Um, I was started on 30 or 25 milligrams when I was initially, nope, 20 milligrams was when, I, when I initially was diagnosed, then got bumped up to 30 and am now at 25. Um, so stress dosing is whenever there is a stressful situation happening, physical, mental, emotional, um, preparing for surgery, going to fly, going to be at higher altitude. Um, it really can be any sort of situation that your body is... <laughs> Sorry, the cat timer just went off. When um, your body is not in its regular state. That is when stress dosing is required. So stress dosing means taking a little bit extra steroid than your regular dose. So I take 15 in the morning, five in the afternoon and five at night. However, if I'm going to stress dose, prepare or um, respond to a stressful situation, I have to decide, because it's your own personal science, to find out how much stress dose to take per circumstance. So when I personally stress dose, so stress dosing is taking an extra dose um, more than your original steroid dose at maybe a different time, um, I typically start small, depending on the situation. If it's an emotional or mental stress, I start with a 2.5. So I break my pills up super duper tiny, um, and then I start building from there. If I need more, if my body is still not okay, I'll go up to a 5. Um, if it's a physical situation, if I am um, throwing up or got into a car situation um, or hurt my body significantly, um, I'll just pop in a 10 right away. Um, that's how I personally do my stress dosing. I start small and go big, depending on the, the magnitude of the stress. I have this really awesome document, and I'll post the link in this video as well, from the National Adrenal Disease Foundation, and it's actually like a cheat sheet for when to stress dose and how much. Of course, it's gonna vary per person, per situation, but this is a really good starting point, especially for people just diagnosed, trying to figure out what the heck am I doing with my body and how much do I take? Um, and it literally ranges from events for like illness with fever, high altitude stress, exercise stress, dental work, um, surgery, um, colonoscopy, chemotherapy, like it literally breaks everything down and then it tells you how much to take ranging from like, oh, double your hydrocortisone until recovery for two to three days to hydrocortisone 100 milligrams via IV. So it gives you kind of a breakdown as to um, how much to use for what circumstance. So I'll include that link, but this is a really good cheat sheet in general for Addisonians. Um, so stress dosing is super important because people with Addison's disease bodies do not um, produce any cortisol of their own, which is going to be the hormone to help them process stress, physical, mental, emotional. Um, if you fell out of your car and like landed face first, your body doesn't have the extra hormone to process that situation and help you deal with that situation going forward. You're going to feel that pain, you're going to feel that extreme situation, but you're not going to be able to process it. Um, so stress dosing is important so that your body can move forward and heal. Um, otherwise, that's when things start shutting down and slowing down. And what I've noticed in my body is that with my Addison's, it starts prioritizing what to keep going and shutting down other areas. So I lose function in the ability to walk, to think, um, and later down the line, I have a hard time breathing. I don't lose the ability to breathe, but taking deep breaths is almost impossible when I'm in low cortisol. So the thing about stress dosing is that it's really hard when you're in a stressful situation 
to remember to stress dose or to think about stress dosing because your brain isn't necessarily working. Um, so it's really helpful if you have somebody around that can kind of remind you and be like, hey, do you need to stress dose or do you need to take an extra pill to just kind of start that conversation? Because a lot of times I know for me, I won't even be thinking about it and I'll be so caught up in a heated, stressful situation. My body temperature will start to rise. I won't be able to process any thoughts. Shortness of breath will happen. I'll start getting all the pains in my joints. And the last thing I'm thinking about is logically thinking about taking a pill. So if you can have little reminders to yourself or have somebody check in on you, that's incredibly helpful because your body will not be able to move forward without the extra steroid to process a situation. Um, there's a catch. So the fun thing about steroids that we know is they keep us alive, people with Addison's disease, which is amazing. Um, but they're also damaging to the body. So steroids do damage to the kidneys, to the bones. Um, it's not something that really you want to take unless you absolutely have to. So of course it's important to take steroids with Addison's disease so that you can have a longer life. However, it does decrease potentially the length of life or quality of life later on. Um, so you have to kind of feel it out and, um, you don't want to take too, too much steroids because if you take too much and your body didn't need it, that's when it starts depositing in your body in areas that you don't want it and um, having negative side effects potentially right away or later down the line. Um, so you have to like feel out how much to take. You don't want to take too much, but you don't want to take too little because when you take too little, if it's a serious enough situation or if it starts in a small situation and things escalate because you're not having the proper amount of steroids to process anything moving forward, that's when a lot of people actually end up dying from Addison's is because they didn't stress dose enough or have enough steroid in them to fight off something as simple as a cold or um, a just literally a stressful situation that can escalate into something far more extreme because their body's not able to process any of the other things happening. So you don't want to take too much because it can do harm later on. You don't want to take too little because that in itself can be deadly. Um, so you have to find your own individual sweet spot as to how much do you take, how much does your body need, and when are you going to stress dose. This is really an individual person's choice. I know a lot of people utilize the online um, support groups, which are amazing a lot of the times and say, hey, I'm in this situation, I'm getting dental work done for this, this and that. How much would you stress dose? And then people start to communicate and share with each other, which is really, really wonderful if you have nobody else to bounce back ideas off of. Um, but really at the end of the day, you have to feel at your own body and know how much to do. And Obviously, I am not a medical professional in any way, shape, or form. This is just research that I've done and um, lessons that I've learned from my own body that sometimes I err on the side of caution and take a little bit more um, in a situation because I want to be present and I want to be alive and I want to function um, and be mentally there in the moment to handle a stressful situation no matter what's going on. So it's a personal... It's a personal journey that you have to discover, but uh, stress dosing is incredibly important. It is a necessary tool for an Addisonian, and it's something that you really need to learn how to do as quickly as you can. Um, be patient with yourself, though, because it's going to take some time to figure out, and if you are a caregiver for someone with Addison's or you know somebody with Addison's, please be patient with them as they try to figure out how much pill to take. Um, and when to take it because that alone is incredibly stressful to figure out. And so being supportive and being there for them goes beyond what you can even understand. Um, so that's stress dosing. And, and that is what I have to say today. <laughs>